Jonah, how would they like their milk mixed feed? Good. Well, let's go see. Uh oh, Jonah. You've got to drain out the liquid. There you go. That's all there is to it. Jonah, Jonah, look. That's all there is to it, buddy. Okay. Now. I don't know, do they all normally eat all at once or do they do like they're doing? Do like they're doing. You mean they don't all tackle the feed at once? They do. But they're not today. I don't know. They don't I don't know what to do. Really Let's split do. it up and see what happens. Usually John and I leave. Okay, well we gotta observe. Okay. I think this is normal. Yeah, look. You spread it out the pants, because sometimes there's bullies. There's a pecking order, and if you spread out pans, look, everybody's eating at once. You see that trip? They weren't eating all at once. Now they are, and all I did was spread out the feed. Our compost pile jamming, 120. Hey, I need you guys to kind of pick it up a little bit every day. That's gonna be part of your chore, okay? Just to keep it piled up. The chickens turn it, we stack it back up. They do half the work. You know, that was, that's what we could do with a gallon of milk. But we get two gallons easy, sometimes three a day. That's 14 gallons of milk a, a week. When I say we don't know what we're going to do with all this milk, I don't mean to say that I don't know we can't make cheese or yogurt or butter. I know all those things. To make yogurt the easiest, we need a thermometer. We're still establishing our homestead. We need a thermometer. Good morning, bear. Looking good this morning. Looking good. Come on. Oh, go ahead. Drop that. Leave it behind. Leave it behind. Booyah! Perfect pumpkin pie on this fresh green grass. See you in a little bit. Stud muffin. So we got our thermometer on our way. Probably the next easiest thing is butter. You need two things for butter, and they can be quite expensive. One is the cream separator, and two is a mixer to, once you have the cream separated, to whip that cream into butter. It's on its way. Let's get her in there. Get her in there. She challenges me every time. Okay, another thing you need. I've ordered the, watch out, Josiah. Good. She's so bad wants to go down there and then come back up. Josiah, do you normally Jonah, do you normally help him? No. Yeah, he's got it. Good job, Josiah. Well, he's gentle. So will you tighten up the uh Who's riding her this morning after the milking? No, I like it loose. Who's riding her this morning? A me. We've been putting our milk and smoothies and drinking it just like it is. Probably do a half a gallon to a gallon a day on that. So that would eliminate, then we would have seven gallons left. If we do yogurt, we'll probably make a gallon, maybe two, that would leave five gallons left. If we do cream, probably take another two or three gallons, feed a gallon to the chicken, chickens, Maybe a little bit left over for cheese one day. You ready to ride this gal, jo jo Josiah? Yeah, Papa, can you put on the rope? Wow, wow! Sure. Come on. Get it. She's gotta get used to you. Did that hurt your leg? Okay. You got this? You just gotta get used to it. Come on, Jenna. Today, I'm just gonna go over a few things that we're gonna need for the sheep. Yesterday, I went ahead and measured the spot for them at the old farmhouse. We're getting the sheep very, very soon. Why? Because why have a lawnmower when you can have sheep? Oh, we got a problem on our hands. <laughs> What's the matter? Come on. Hey, what? What's the matter? Where's your shoe? <laughs> Where's your matching shoes? I don't need, I don't need some. Okay. 
You know I'm not going to be able to hold the camera and the wheel measure and you. You know that, right? So once we get over here, your little legs are going to have to do the work. Youngest to oldest. Right here, Mr. Brown. I think we'll go straight across the back. We'll leave this for yard. And then this will be what was once yard, what was once mowed by mowers will now be mowed by sheep. Push it, okay? We're, I'm gonna have to help you though, okay? Push it. Right here, right here. About right here. 600 feet, Josiah. Do you hear the geese? They're okay. there. So yeah, we're gonna need 600 feet. And the only other thing is we have to train them. We're gonna have to handle them so that we can lead them, the boys can do their chores, that type of thing. We also have to train them on the electric fence. I'm thinking right here and using this stall right here. It was for the chickens. Actually, the guineas were in here last. So, it's not in that bad a condition. We need to clean out some stuff. I wanna maybe spray it down with vinegar just in case there's any kind of thing and then have the boys bring in, we had leftover mulch yesterday, have the boys bring in fresh, deep mulch. And we'll just keep them in the stall for a few days and then we'll let them out into a, an electric fence right here and train them on it. I also plan on training them to treats. Dan Oman, the permaculture shepherd, has given me some treat ideas other than grain so that we can train them to come to those like he has with his uh, treats. We're gonna use the peas de lure them, I imagine. Then what, yes. Dan? And then, I'm, I'm gonna whistle, which is gonna signal to them that it's time for a paddock move. <laughs> and what the chillers are gonna do is Listen. see if they can keep up with the sheep. The sheep are fast. These guys can run. So let's see if the, sheep, the chiller, you guys wear your, your running shoes? No. So really? you're gonna chase the sheep, right? Or are they gonna run with you? Uh, I would like them to be behind the sheep so they don't get trampled. Okay. Because uh, they will get fast. Okay, y'all are going to stay behind the sheep. You guys listen to Dan, okay? I'm going to open the, the electric fe fencing so the sheep can get out. And I'm just going to sprint as fast as I can. <laughs> the plan is they will follow me because one, I train them to do this. Uh, in short, short little moves every day. Okay. But also these peas are going to keep their attention. visit him on the Great America Farm Tour. Good friend of mine now, excellent shepherd. I call him the permaculture shepherd. Another thing I need to do is actually consult Dan's new ebook. The dude just wrote an ebook. It's like 20 something pages long. And knowing Dan, it's smack full of awesome resources. He's the one who's helped me figure out what netting and other materials I need, snacks. Look, he's giving away that ebook right now for free. I'm gonna go get it. If you guys are interested in sheep, you should certainly go get it. I'll leave that in the description. I cannot wait for these sheep. I gotta text the guy and see when they're coming. So it's gotta be really soon. We're going over the six main things that you'll need in order to get started with sheep and bring them to your homestead this spring.